Maslow was a psychologist. He published this in the 1940s. It's still true today across socioeconomic status, across the globe. So his concept was this. Every human being is wired to have certain needs met in a certain order. So your first level of needs at the bottom of your, at the bottom of your uh, pyramid is physiological needs. Food, water, shelter. If I don't have water, that's going to be a main concern of mine, right? <clears throat> I'm going to be thinking about food and water a lot. And then once those needs are met, my curiosity kicks in and says, what else is available to me in this world? What else could I have? And you move up to safety. You start to think, how can I create safety? How do I make sure that not just that I have food and water, but I have consistent shelter, I have consistent food. So in the workplace, it might sound like phys physiological need, I have a job to earn money. Safety needs, I have a pension, or I have job security, this job provides good benefits, I've got PTO. So I know that typically in the US, most jobs, we are aiming to at least cover these two, right? And we have laws around making sure that we're taking care of our employees to a certain extent. So this right here, when we talk about the history that boomers went through in their life, when we asked you, when I asked you, hey, what did you expect out of work? You're saying this stuff, right? Because you're like, we got to work to eat. So when I look at my job, I'm happy if I have money. I'm happy if I, it'd be amazing if I got PTO. Because of how you were raised and the time that you were raised, it makes sense that that's what you want from work. And then we fast forward and talk about how boomers, how we hit an economic, or I'm sorry, how millennials, we hit its economic high. We had really high mortgage rates. Our, our economics were stable. We were telling everybody to go to college. So millennials expect this. This is no longer like, hey, that's nice. That'd be amazing to have. We're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, I went to college. These are guaranteed now. That's what I was taught, right? These are guaranteed. So when we look at Maslow's hierarchy, the next thing after these two things are positioned and you have them, and when you have physiological and safety needs met, the next thing you're looking for is love and belonging. And I know that can be kind of cringy because you're thinking that's what you do at home. You get love and belonging at home. Millennials are looking for this at work, and millennial-driven companies create rituals around onboarding. They create rituals around anniversaries, things like that, so that people feel like they truly belong. It would sound something like this out of a millennial's mouth. It sounds something like, I feel included. I like my team. It's collaborative. We talked about this over here. My manager knows me well. I get frequent feedback. The work culture and social norms are clear. I know what you expect of me. I'm able to produce that. I feel connected to the people here. So we're going from, that's why when you talk to a millennial about what they want out of work, they're up in these three, they're up in the blue, and boomers are down in the red because we grew up in a different time. And it's very natural when I talk to any generation about what millennials want. At the end of the day, which we'll talk about in a minute, those four factors of engagement, most people would admit, actually, I would like those things too. I would just never think to ask of them, ask them, but I do want them. Does this make sense that depending on how you grew up, you're at a different level on Maslow's hierarchy of needs and your expectations of work reflect that? That's what's happening. That's why boomers see millennials wanting love and belonging. We all want to stay together to do the job of one man, right? We all want to feel connected to each other. We're going to have a kickball tournament after work. You're like, I don't care. Just get your work done, right? We're going to go out for drinks. Want to come, boss? Nope, don't want to come. Going home with my family. Have a good time, right? Millennials find their family and their friends. They find their family and their work. They find love and belonging at work. So it's natural that they're expecting these types of things from you up here on Maslow's hierarchy because we are more stable as a society when we are growing up.